Greetings and salutations until I find some better way of doing an intro. Um, as you can tell, this is not 99 cents anymore. This is free to 350. And what I'm going to be doing in the and this is going to be the start of the new format. This is a free game. It is a demo. And this is called The Forsaken Castle. I'm very interested in this because of a lot of reasons. Right now I'm just kind of exploring and see what's around. But this game is 100% free. And, well, that's a good enough price for me. But is it worth more than that? So right now, what you can see we're looking at here is a free-to-play game. Well, free to try out. It will eventually come out and see. Oh, oh, we start with slide. That's good. Some games don't necessarily start you with a slide. Break through here. Abandon mine. Let's go with the fireball. Now, if you're wondering why I'm going back, it's because I'm legitimately curious if there are other things to do in the area I just came from. Haha! -ha! I have been rewarded. Okay, so you 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 actually hit to reward you for going off the beaten path, whether it's knowledge of areas you can't go to yet, or little bits of treasure and power ups. Either way, it's good. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the music on this, but it's a cool, smooth jazz, and I like that in my Metroidvanias. You know, the rock and metal it has its place. I like rock and metal. Don't get me wrong, but that shouldn't be the only option for me to listen to. Oh, look at that. Hmm. I'm thinking this is going to be a save point eventually. I should get some vengeance and go back up there. Take out that slime. There we go. Ooh. And yes! Alright, that works. Get some more treasure. What's going on this way? Looks like we get some spikes. It's another slime. Now, if you want a good... Now, this is really smooth. Um, the control scheme and how well it plays reminds me of Dusk, an Elysian Tale. Which, if you have not played that, that's a very good game. I'll probably cover it later on in the channel's lifespan. 
if you're not willing to wait for probably at least a couple of months, I highly recommend going and trying to figure out, you know, um, you know, if, if you want to get like another review, a little bit more in depth than just me saying, hey, play this, um, I recommend probably just, you know, yeah, looking up on YouTube and you'll probably find a, uh, review. multiple consoles it's a pretty fun game okay Sub weapons, why? Okay, all right. Now. I can do this. Okay. And that's what the little blue mana bar is for. So, the little blue mana bar will slowly refill. So, you can't really rapid fire. And let's see if you can do that. No, it will actually passively refill. That's interesting. That's a very nice way of handling that. Nice dash jump. This is a really clever game. And I'm liking it so far. I do hope this gets released uh, some point in the future. Like I said, just found this demo, so it's very exciting. And I like it. It's got a lot of my favorite enemy types in it. Um, you know. You got your pacers. You got your various other things. Look here. Mm. That looks like we could maybe use that later. Okay. Looks like I'm going to need a double jump or something else.
Yeah. Oh, this is really nice. Also, the recharging energy meter very much reminds me of the way we have weapons work in Meep the Space Bat. It prevents you from just spamming the attack button and basically forces you to be a bit more conservative about the way you attack. Let's see if we can get up here now. And again, that's probably going to be a save later. And now, we can press further onward. Chicken in a box. Boss. Oh, and he hit. Uh, boss definitely hits hard. Wait a minute. Why am I using the axe? There we go. Holy water OP. I do got to say, the concept of earning the sub-weapons as, um, you know, small little special things, I think that's a really clever idea. Hmm. Well, we're kind of quasi outside right now.
Oh, this is an old trope. You make the boss into a random encounter after you kill it. Youch. <sighs> All right. So now we have a straight shooting fireball. And we got all this for free. This is all one giant demo. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. If I could, I'd save. But for some reason, save's just not happening. It's kind of annoying. We're at least going to find out what's beyond this door. More castle, more monsters. Hmm. All right. Well, folks. This has been really fun. I definitely recommend this game. Uh, I'm getting this boss feeling. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm taking some hard hits. All right. Yeah, X definitely seems to be a weakness. Um, little floating skull things are quite annoying. But 
thought I imagine I won't be receiving a Christmas card from this little Spectre thing. Thanks for playing indeed. This has been wonderful. Forsaken Castle. Absolutely wonderful. Cannot recommend it enough. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. And this is totally worth the download. It's free. Go on Steam. Search Forsaken Castle. I'm sure you will get this.